Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungra YouTube channel. And as always, say a big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Yesterday I was so tired, that is why I niliweka video moja. And I came to realize, after I read your comments, I came to realize kwamba, nilisema kupandisha chini beya unga. Instead ya kusema kuteremusha chini beya unga. Sasa mimi na kierere yangu nilikuwa nasema kupandisha chini. Sasa kupandisha chini ni nini? So I was listening to myself and I was like, "Wah, anyway. Mambo mazito." By the way, uh, I make that correction. I really meant kushukisha chini. Ama kuteremusha chini bei ya unga sio kupandisha chini. <laughs> Unajua wa Kenya kuna discussion ambayo ninaona inaendelea nchini Kenya na imenifanya nije hapa niizungumzie kwa lugha inayoeleweka Unajua matamshi ya Zakayo yameniacha nikifikiria kama anapewa ushauri wa kisheria na vitengo husika ama idara husika mafisi za kiserikali husika kabla aje kuzungumza kwa wakenya i really wonder if zakayo gets some advice you know he's a zoologist yeye ni mtu amesomea mambo ya kutibu ngombe mambo ya kutibu eh, kondoo mambo ya kutibu eh, mbuzi na mambo ya kuhesabu minyama is a zoologist is a botanist mambo ya kuangalia ma, eh, magonjwa ya kahawa magonjwa ya miwa magonjwa ya maharawe hiyo ndio kazi anaweza because he is a scientist he doesn't understand some concepts as far as law is concerned so He is embarrassing himself in the public and creates more harm than good. I understand that being the senior most politician and being the most superior leader in government, he must first do some research. He must first have some some um, facts at the fingertips before he speaks anapozungumza he embarrasses himself in public unajua wa Kenya wacha niwaambie jambo moja kwamba kuna sheria hapa nchini Kenya na ukisoma vizuri utakubaliana na mimi kwamba kuna sheria hapa nchini Kenya na sheria which exempts President Daniel Troiti Charapmoi and President Jomo Kenyatta from tax Now The two families are not stupid Mali nyingi kampuni nyingi za hizi familia ziko chini ya majina ya Jomo Kenyatta na Daniel Moi Sababu ni gani Sheria ya Kenya ambayo bado haijatolewa na inafanya kazi hadi leo. Inawapa uhuru wa kutolipa ushuru in properties that have been inherited. So if Uhuru Kenyatta inherited a company under the name of his father, he is not supposed to pay some tax. If Gideon Moy and the family members inherited some companies from the president Daniel Moi and those companies are still in the name of Moi the law protects them not to pay some tax exempting is to favor exempting is to how can i call it yani ni kuweka kando or to okay let me call it to favor right sasa 
mali nyingi, kampuni mingi za uru Kenyatta bado zipo chini ya jina la Jomo Kenyatta. Ni sheria ya Kenya na mruhusu. It's the law. And that law is applicable to debt. It has never been scrapped. It is in effect to debt. Now, a whole zakayo is going into the public and telling people that they must pay tax. How do they pay tax yet the law favors them? How? How do they pay tax yet the Kenyan law that is valid to date exempts them? What you should do? And instead of embarrassing yourself in public, I could advise Zakayo. Just tell your members of parliament to scrap that section from the constitution. Ikisha tolewa, then wait for them to begin paying taxes. But ikutuambia, oh, wamekata kulipa tax, oh, sijui wamekata kufanya nini, oh, bado mapambano. You know, Otieno Kajuang used to sing Mapambano, mapambano, na alikuwa nakodawa majo, bado mapambano, mapambano, mapambano. I want to say this. Vita kati ya serekali ya wila mruto na uhuru kenyata. Ndiyo ya maua, wanasema ndiyo maua inailika ukoko ama ndiyo ukoko unalika maua. Ndiyo ngoma inaanza, it's just beginning. Kama mumeamua ni head on. Uhuru na ya mumeamua ni head on. Tuone ni nani atawezana. He. Kama ni pesa tunayo. Bio mumeamua. And you know. Zakayo anasahau kwamba. Hata yeye siku moja atatoka uongozini. Anasahau. Kiti cha urais is not permanent. Heshima idumu. Viongozi waliotoka katika kiti cha urais waheshimiwe. Kwa nini? Hata yeye atakapotoka hicho kiti atahitaji heshima. Lakini sasa when you begin to behave as if the world is coming to an end and you will be the last president in this Republic of Kenya now because you know you are behaving as if we will never have another president in this country. Right? You are pushing people to pay tax. Yet you have a law that protects them from, pay, from not paying the tax. So between them and you, who is looking clueless in the public? I think the Attorney General has a lot of work to do. The Attorney General has a lot of work to do. Zakayo must understand that the Kenyatta family is covered under the Kenyan valid law. Zakayo should understand kwamba hawezi enda kutoa ushuru kwa familia ya moyo kuna sheria inawaruhusu na hiyo sheria haijawahi tolewa ipo hadi sasa so anacho staili kufanya badala ya kubweka aitisha wabunge wa UDA awaambie nataka muende bungeni munitolee hiki uh, munitolee you, you, you scrub for me this section from the constitution that these families will begin to pay tax. Hata upige nduru, hata usimame Mount Elgon, hata usimame Mount Kilimanjaro, hata usimame Sugoi, hata usimame Wapi, sheria inawakinga. There's nothing you will do. Hakuna kitu utafanya. Ni sheria ya Kenya. Na kama unataka kuwaweza bas, badilisha katiba. That's the only way you can help yourself. Lakini wacha niwaambie. Zakayo ameanzisha vita ambavyo hata waimaliza. Na serikali ya Kenya kwanza ijue kwamba wao sio wa kwanza kuingia serikalini. Watamaliza miaka yao hata kama ni mia moja, kumi ama miaka ambayo watakubali kukaa uongozini bado wataenda. Kina Mugabe walienda. Hata kina Museveni wa Uganda wataenda. 
hata kina Paul Kagame wa Rwanda wataenda no one is permanent on earth it's only time that has been reached so i want to announce to them that before they start acting unfairly they should understand that already 2022 is over to 2023 february miaka inasonga nyinyi endeleeni kukaa kwa vita na kumatusi miaka yenu itapita mutatoka uongozini na kila mnapanda sasa ndicho mtakachovuna kaka mimi niko hapa na nitawakumbusha wakati huo because i'm still young by the time i'm 40 or 50 Oi my friend niko na miaka kwa hii dunia niko na miaka niko na miaka ya kuishi I will be here to remind you what you planted Yaani you are fighting a retired president honestly Unapiga vita rais ambaye amestaafu really That is too low that is pettiness Lakini kwa sababu umeamua ni vita na yeye amejipanga na vita vijana musilale lale lale vijana musilale bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano watu hawalali Kenya hii As long as Raila Odinga lives. As long as Uhuru Kenyatta lives. Mumeamua ni vita sawa nayo nayo. We shall see the casualties. Tutaona. Nimesikia wakisema watu wa Kenya kwanza nasikia wakisema oh wanataka sasa Uhuru akue sacked as a peace special envoy. Sijui oh nini. You can do all what you want. After all, who is a successful retired president? It doesn't matter. He is a retired president. Hako nyumbani anakula mali yake pole pole. How I wish that you should concentrate in building your legacy. How I wish mungerudi pale state house mutafanya kazi lini kama kazi yenu ni kutanga tanga jumapili muko pale jumatatu muko pale jumaine muko turukana jumatano muko Mombasa alamisi muko kisi ijuma muko Uganda ijumatano muko Tanzania weekend muko sijui ni Australia Muta, mutafanya kazi lini when will you sit and remember that you promised people dams When will you sit in the office and remember that you promised young people jobs? When will you sit down in the office? Uache kutanga tanga and remember you promised people to lower the cost of living. When will you remember? A prayer there, a project there. A prayer there, a project there. And to make matters worse the projects you are leaning on the housing project was president uhuru kenyatta's project otherwise you have zero project the railway was uhuru kenyatta's project you have zero project the dams kimwarela roll was uhuru kenyatta's project you have zero project so i wonder when will kenya kwanza sit and start to reason and begin to think that we have Kenyans who are supposed to serve their work is to borrow wapate pesa ya kutembea their work is to borrow wapate pesa ya kuweka magari mafuta their work is to borrow wapate maallowance za maoteli their work is to borrow wapate maallowance za mandege their work is yani you are overburdening Kenyans And now you want to overtax Kenyans for your own selfish gains. Ndogo zangoni wa Kenya kwanza. Sijui mlijaua serikali gani? Serikali ambayo ni binafsi inajijali wao wenyewe. Unajua rais anapotoka state house anapewa budget ya siku millions of shillings. How many trips 
that Zakayo makes in a week within Kenya? How many trips? Every Sunday he is at a prayer function away from state house. I raised this concern in the advance. Nikasema, kama mnataka maombi, fanyeni maombi state house. Mungu bado atasikia. Sio lazima uende turukana kuomba ndio Mungu akusikie. Unless you have a hidden agenda. Si lazima uende naro kukuomba ndio Mungu akusikie. Si lazima uende na kuru kuomba ndio Mungu akusikie. Sio lazima uende si haya kuomba ndio Mungu akusikie. You can still pray in state house na Mungu akusikie. Wamevali angozi ya kondo eh wamevali angozi ya kondo eh nani yao ni umbwa mwitu siji kama ni memba vizuri yani ukiwaona nje ni watulivu kama kondo wametulia hawana maneno lakini ndani kwa kikisi tunasema ebi bengi umbwa mwitu Mahayena. That is what they are. Hapa inje ukiwona. Kanisani wame nchako tumaini sina. Yani wakimba wanatoa machozi ya natiririka. Wako kwa roo. Wanaomba. They are sinking in prayer. In church. They are carrying huge Bibles. Kwa kanisa. They are singing. Worship songs. Yani wane nwami kono paka wanaria. Wane teremusha machozi. Pasta akisema Amina wakipewa microphone kusimama kwa pulpit matusi wanayotoa vinywani doesn't qualify them to even be called bishops Matamshi Biblia inasema mtawatambua kwa matendo mtawajua kwa vitendo And that is what is happening in the Republic of Kenya Otherwise Kenyans we maintain peace Tupendane 2027 is coming. Musi danganywe. God bless you. Asante sana.